This video demonstrates the front face programming of the Siemens POL224 controller. The video is for demonstration purposes only and is for a typical application. Your adjustments will be based on individual job specific needs and code requirements. The controller has defaults set for typical installations, though some units and some applications require changes from the default settings. This chart shows some of the more common controller defaults. For this example, we are going to set up a two-speed, two-stage cooling unit with an enthalpy outside air sensor and a CO2 sensor. Some settings will stay at the default settings, but this video will show you how to access changes if needed. First, we are going to review and make any adjustments to the set points in the five configuration state. Then we will move to the eight run state menu. Let's get started. Upon powering up the controller, you will be presented with the welcome screen. Press up twice to enter the five configuration state menu. Press enter to enter the five configuration state menu. Press enter again to confirm that you would like to enter the five configuration state. The controller will take a moment while it prepares the five configuration state. Since the controller default assumes a dry bulb temperature sensor, we will have to activate the outside air humidity to get an enthalpy reading. Go to the six OAH SIG menu. The default is none, but for this example, we are using an outside air enthalpy and will need to change the default setting for outside air humidity to zero to 10 volts. Once we get to the run state section, we will set up the humidity set point. The default setting for CO2 is none, meaning the controller assumes that a CO2 sensor is not being used. Go to the 6AUX AI1 menu. Change the default setting from none to CO2. This tells the controller that a CO2 sensor is now being used. Now scroll to the 6AUX I1 SIG menu to set what type of signal is sent to the CO2 sensor. The default is 0 to 10 volts, but just for this example we are going to change it to 2 to 10 volts. Now let's go to 6Y20. This sets the number of cooling compressors. The default is cool two for two compressors. If your unit only has one compressor, change this setting to none. For this example, we will leave it at two cooling stages. Let's go to six fan. This sets the unit's fan speed. The default is two speed. And for this video, we will just leave it there. But it can be changed to single speed, two speed, three speed, or VFD for variable speed if needed. Now we are going to go on to the controller's eight run state menu. We are using temperature and humidity for the outside air sensor. So first let's go to the two temp off menu. This sets the high temperature limit where the economizer free cooling is locked out. The default is 63 degrees, but let's change it to 60 degrees for this example. In the five configuration state menu, we select the temperature and humidity or enthalpy outside air sensor. So now we will adjust the humidity set point. Go to the two ENT off menu. This sets the outside air humidity limit where the economizer free cooling is locked out. The default is 28 BTU per pound, but we will change the setting to 25 BTU per pound. The next several screens deal with CO2 sensors. In the five configuration state, we told the controller we had a CO2 sensor and we set the sensor voltage. These next adjustments, we will set the minimum and maximum damper position settings for the controller when not in free cooling. These settings are made by adjusting the voltage to the economizer actuator. Since we have a two speed unit, we have a minimum position damper setting for low and high speed and a maximum position damper setting for low and high speed. The minimum position setting will be used if the space has a low level of occupancy or CO2. 
the maximum position will be used if the space has a higher level of occupancy. Go to the 2 Vent Max L menu. To set the CO2 sensor's maximum non-free cooling position when the unit is in low speed. The default is 3.6 volts, but let's change that to 3.4 volts. Go to the 2 Vent Max H menu to set the CO2 sensor's maximum non-free cooling position when the unit is in high speed. The default is 2.8 volts but we are going to change that to 2.6 volts. Now we will set the minimum outside air position when using a CO2 sensor. This would typically be for spaces with lower occupancy levels. Go to the 2 Vent Min L menu to set the CO2 sensor's minimum non-free cooling position when the unit is in low speed. The default is 3.1 volts, but we are going to change that to 2.9 volts. Lastly, go to the 2 Vent Min H menu to set the CO2 sensor's minimum non-free cooling position when the fan is in high speed. The default is 2.3 volts, but we are going to change that to 2.1 volts. Our objective of setting up a two-speed unit with two-stage cooling using an enthalpy outside air sensor and a CO2 sensor is now complete. However, there are a few typical settings to review. If we didn't have a CO2 sensor, the 6AUX AI1 menu would need to be set to its default of none. In this case, we could just adjust the minimum position settings. You can leave these at the default settings or make changes which we will do. In this example, we are still using a two-speed unit so we will have to adjust the low and high speed settings in the 8 run state menu. Go to the 2 Fan L ACT menu. This will set the economizer actuator voltage or damper position for allowing minimum position outside air intake when the unit is in low fan speed. The default is 3.6 volts, but for this example, we are going to change this to 3.9 volts. Now go to the 2 Fan H ACT menu. This will set the economizer actuator voltage or the damper position for allowing minimum position outside air intake when the fan is in high speed. The default is 2.8 volts, but for this example we are going to change it to 3.0 volts. The last two items we are going to discuss are for informational purposes. We are going to look at the settings for power exhaust activation and alarms for fault detection. Even if you do not use these features, you can leave the settings at the default. Scroll down to the 6 AUX2-0 menu. The default is set to alarm to allow signal to be sent to a remote light or thermostat signifying that a fault has been detected on the economizer. The remote alarm feature is required by many building codes, including California's Title 24. Our last example will be the 6 AUX1-0 menu. The default is set for exhaust for use with a power exhaust. To change the activation set point, go to the 2EX1L menu, where the default is set for the power exhaust to kick on when the outside air damper is open to 65%. But for this example, we are going to change it to 75%. Thank you for watching Micrometal Academy. 